Hi, welcome to the first part of this new video series, the Spurgear Housing. I've already updated the PDF, the 2D PDF, because I've added here an essential dimension which I really need. That would be 193.94 for this height. So, first I want to create some planes. Let's say we start here with zero. So I need one which is six millimeter below, then one is 85 above, and then this one and one which is six millimeter below this one. I want to create one on this side, on that side, and maybe two or three here. So one for that reference here, this one and that one, same on the other side. So here, there and this one. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. Let's create some planes. So go for construct, go for offset plane, one from this one, and that should be 193.94 minus 6. Another one, and that distance is 193.94. Another one, and that should be at minus 12. Then let's see, I want to draw my sketches on this plane, so I need one with an offset in that direction. And this should be 42.5. Another one with minus 42.5. So that didn't work. Let's check it. Minus 42.5. Yeah, that's it. Another one. distance from this one, and that should be 135. Another one at minus 135. And one with a distance of Sixty two point five and another one with minus sixty two point five. Okay, that should do at least for the beginning. Let's check those planes. I want to rename them. That would be the 193.94 minus 6 one. That's 193.94. That's minus 12. That's the 42.5 minus 42.5, minus 132.5, 
and minus 62.5 minus 62.5 okay and now we can do our first sketch so go for a sketch on the y set plane i need a rectangle and i will have to bring in those planes so maybe first project those planes or include them so go for project include go for project that plane here this plane and that one here and confirm now our rectangle should be somewhere like this now let's put that point onto that one here go for collinear this one and that one this one and that one then i need a circle which is somewhere over here and the diameter is 600 now let's move this down a little bit yes and align that center point with that one and make this here tangent now we can trim so this could go away this could go away this one and that one finish that sketch here now let's make an extrude and should go to two sides and it should go to an object the other side as well so let's select the first object that would be this plane here and the second one would be of course that plane here let's try to select it and confirm now i need a 70 millimeter fillet but before i have to do a draft so let's check the draft there it is the pulling direction would be the in this case it's the set axis this one and this side that side this one and that one that's okay that's okay did i get the direction maybe not let's try again nope so let's go for that one here but it should be reversed and that would be three degrees yeah looks okay and now two fillets with 70 millimeter radius one here one over there 70 millimeter confirm and another one with five millimeter on this edge and that edge great okay let's hide that solid here and bring back that sketch and do another extrude with this profile yes it should go to an object but two sides so first object would be 
that plane here. And for the second object, that would be this plane here. And confirm. Hide that sketch. Now I want to make a draft. And that would be this face, that face, this one, and that one. The pulling direction would be that face or that plane here. Direction is OK. And let's confirm. Now, two 70 millimeter fillets on this edge and that one here. And another 20 millimeter fillet on this edge and that edge here. Great. And of course, that's a second body, if you didn't notice. Let's hide that body as well. I need two more planes. So go for offset plane to this one. And that would be 72.5. And another one with minus 72.5. Now another sketch on the YZ plane. Let's make a rectangle. And bring in Project this plane here and that plane. Then align this one and that one. This one and that one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could have gone for this one as well. So that distance should be 3 mm. And in order to dimension it correctly, I want to project this one in as well. Now that distance here should be 43.5. Finish that sketch. Now let's make an extrude with that sketch, yes. It should go to two sides and up to an object. And that object in this direction would be this one here. And the second direction again to object would be that one here. And confirm. Now I need a linear pattern. I want to pattern the bodies, yes. Object is this one here. And the axis would be the green one here, the y-axis. I need not extent but spacing. I need six instances. And the distance between them should be 33 millimeter. None on the second axis. And let's confirm. Now I want to intersect this body here with those cooling ribs. So let's go for boolean or combine. Target would be this one here and these are the tools and I want to go for intersect. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and confirm. Let's bring back that body 
and I'm done at least for the first part of the Spergy housing in Fusion 360. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. And you could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram, X, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.